Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Sip Guys. For those of you that don't already know, for those of you who are returning, hi, how are you? I hope you're well. So guys, um today I'm gonna be doing like a little do I call it a productive day vlog? Cause this productive day is starting at I wash this off. What's my king? You know what? Isn't this my drum yama? Let me charge it right now, actually. Where is my charger? Here it is. I found under my bed. So, well, productive day is already starting by me charging my damn watch. It's charging. So, um, I actually don't know the. Oh, it's quarter to six. So it's not really a productive day, but. So I'm planning on going to do my laundry. Um, I don't want to even show you how much laundry I have because it's quite embarrassing. Scary business, guys. But I think once you're in varsity, like you lose track of time. Time flies like this. So I'm, after laundry, I'm gonna come up do the dishes. There's not many dishes in the sink, but I do wanna cook um, dinner, dinner or supper. It's the same thing. I do want to cook and then what else am I going to do? Oh, I need to start on my assignment. I have a 10, well, 8 to 10 page assignment due next week, Monday when I go back to school because right now I'm on recess. And I could come now because um, you go by the applications, I'll drop out like the forms. You go by, send them my way if you're from UCT. Feel free. Um, <laughs> when I get upstairs and I now regret it because I have to do it I said I'm gonna wash the dishes which I was gonna do cool and then I have to cook I'm back in my room I'm gonna put these up and then figure out what I want to cook tonight because I have mince chicken and then stir fry but then I'm trying to like I don't know what I want to eat also guys cooking I can make so many dishes why do i have to eat i'm gonna have eggs cheese and a lack of ham sandwich i'll make two because like the bread i buy the one they sell like at the shop it's like that small bread so ah uh, it's not very filling like Actually, if you don't cook, you could actually eat six slices and not even know. If you guys don't see this video, it means I'm dead. <laughs> but you guys are probably gonna see this video. If you're watching this, I'm still alive. Also, by the way, I don't know if my stitch is just like that. I just wanted to wash the pots quickly. So please don't come. Don't come for me. Please and thank you. 
So first, I'm gonna cut up an onion and put it in the pot. There's some oil in the pot. And then, fry up the onion a little bit. Then, throw the mince in and hope it defrosts and it cooks up. I'm very hungry right now. I'm not even gonna make pasta. I'm just gonna eat this with bread and I'll make the pasta tomorrow. up the pot and I'm gonna throw in the onion. I actually ended up using half the onion. So there it is. Just mix up that around. So also a fun fact that no one cares about. I actually hate the stove. It's like an induction stove. It's so hard cooking on this because if either the setting is too high or too low. So the food burns or it takes too long to get ready. But obviously now that I've been doing this a while, I'm getting used to it. If I can not put it back to the yeah. So I'm just trying to break up the onions right now so that they can cook evenly. And you know what guys, if you want to have to smell like you're cooking something nice, put some onion, put a little curry, and chicken thighs. Yes, because people are not thinking of this shit. So I'm going to start with Raja, 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 then a bit of paprika, great, salt and pepper. Honestly, whenever I cook, it's just about my heart. Like, I never cook with the recipe, I cook with what's there, what I have in my house. And yeah, usually it comes out tasting good, really comes out tasting bad if it's bad then. Oh wow. Some garam masala. Not even been opened. Oh, this is really good. It's got like your I would assume your cumin. Oh, coriander, cinnamon, cumin seeds are right. Sea salt, garlic, fennel, seeds. Black peppercorns, cloves, cardamom, star anise, curry leaves, and ginger extract. I like that still. I don't wanna slap me off, they don't wanna say. I don't wanna walk up, hey, what am I talking to me? So this is the part after I've just added the beef stock and the chutney with the bit of water. See there's the water right there. It's not too much, it's just enough to like steam and melt the, the beef stock. And because like it's basically cooked, it releases oils, the mince, so it's frying itself. Basically what I did is I buttered the bread, I put a slice of mozzarella, put the rinse, drizzle some mustard, close the bread, and I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, just so the cheese would like become soft. So let's taste it everybody. Let's take a bite. Mm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a certified chef. Don't talk to me. So I have my laundry. What if today is the day that they take my laundry out of the washing machine? I'd actually be so mad. Hi guys. Um, Hi there, I didn't film today. Uh, yeah, today has been a very hectic day. I just found out I actually have to go to my mouth. I actually have two more assignments for on Monday, so that's a lot. But I got a checkers order, so we're gonna open it together. And he's sitting on the bed. <laughs> okay.
guys are wondering who's also here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is basically all for my assignment today. Come to eating. I got two packets of spicy knickknacks, which we're gonna eat one of now. <laughs> then I got two Enegades Powerades, not Enegades. Then I got Demons, but they were both on special for 26 grand, so I was like, might as well. Then I got these. I really like these, they're quite sugary, but I like them. What else? I also got razors and Pantilla. This was unrelated to the assignment, but I all oh, Andy razors. This is self explanatory. <laughs> There's no other reason for that. Right now, we're going to watch Top Boy. After Top Boy, I'm going to get started with my assignment. Then, we're Thank you. Bye. So, um, um, yeah. Me, Amashe and Malwande are going to um this shop in Clermont, it's called Denim's SA. If I can film in there, I definitely will. But the shop is called Denim's SA and they sell a bunch of jeans. And yeah, I don't have jeans. Like I'm wearing one of my jeans right now and it's short. So I understand packing my bag, packing my thingy, my whatchamacall? My purse, my sunglasses, lip gloves. What else am I missing? I have all the important stuff. I don't need anything else. I can just take a pen. Never know what you might need to write. But yeah, for sure, when I come back, I'm gonna continue again with my essay so that I can finish it by Friday, because I'm submitting on Monday at 12. And yeah, guys, I will see you. I'm gonna go downstairs right now and fetch Amatle and Malande so that we can Uber there and go. So, oh, I need to show you guys my outfits. Oh my gosh, how how dare I not show you my outfits? Okay, what the hell am I? The strap is annoying me. E Beckyam, let me unplug my phone from the charger. And then, oh my gosh, there's leftover eyelash glue on my table. Guys, please stop going out. Please stop getting ready. Like, just stop it. Absolutely stop it. Like, this is a lash. Anyways, guys, let me show you my fit. Can I show you my fit here? I think I can. Oh, I remember some news. You guys are going to I'm wearing this sweater. Actually, I'm doing this sweater that I took from her because she said she didn't like the fact that it had like these green, whatever. I think it looks kind of cool, so I took it. I'm wearing these cotton on shorts. I don't know what she's gonna wear. I think I'm gonna wear. I think I'm gonna wear Air Forces. Guys, my it's looking a bit gloomy outside, yeah. Anyway, let's just go. But I will see you guys when I'm with my and Amashi. Basically, just a big um, 
something new. Look at the heel. You a do big heels skinny jean shop. Like I'm looking it's at bags right now. Yeah, I want to get at least like one. This. I see these cute, cute, cute bags. Yes, I very cute. Heel, so they say bags are 270. I could get one. Mm. But yeah, I could disappoint 30. <laughs> We're in Cavendish Square, just having a look around. It's actually low shading right now, so there's not much we can get or buy. But yeah, come on, you guys, just go to the mall, go to the nearest mall with your friends, and have a day. Oh wow! Okay. Guys, we're sitting in low shading. We're waiting for the electricity so we can buy some. Ah! Gum, 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 gum. We are getting. Yo yo yo! Look at my line in pull about who's the snap on the table. I'm gonna add a snap on my as in pull as it three. Oh! Okay, guys, the goods have been secured. So now we are gonna go level down. And Oh hi! Yeah. Hi guys, this is editing Tippy. Um, I just wanna come in just before you guys watch that whole interaction. I know what I'm about to say might sound like a little offish or rude, but just hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I never, never, ever walk like. <laughs> I never walk properly and it's not to say it's intentional but sometimes like even when i'm walking with my friends i always like bump into them i never i very rarely walk in a straight line so shame this poor man i was filming and i was like trying to walk i wasn't looking where i was going i'm not sure whether i bumped into him or i was like walking in his way or something i i just didn't appreciate the way he came up about it but I'll take my responsibility that I was not watching where I was going. And that's all I'll say on the matter. Walk straight in front I'm of so me. You're not sorry. You're so busy looking at that thing. Yes. Yeah. Jello, where are you? Jello, not tell you. Look, I don't take the understanding. Yeah, but I'll wait for a minute. And then if you want to run into me. I was like, sorry, sorry. So now we must send vlog because we're vlog. Because we're I don't care. This is why I don't vlog in public. Where's the one that's going down? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 I actually hate I them. Hate I have a fear because for them. I have a fear of heights and they make me feel like falling is very near. That's the thing, Chami, when I'm supposed to take the step, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Should I? Begin? Yes? No? But anyway, it's been a it's been a successful day because we have Cinnabon. That's all that matters right now. I'm back finally. Guys, oh, when I actually do a click of phone, it's not nice. It really isn't. And I actually need to call somewhere right now. But anyway, where is my bag? Here it is. Um. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got and then I'm gonna try them on. So, starting with accessories. I've had back. I've had back. This is crazy business. This is crazy stuff. Because I don't even wanna tell you how much I spent. But this bag was $270. It was not nice paying. 
Oh, this was kind of cute. They put stuffing. I picked a bag that had the stuffing in it because I thought like it kept its shape. So that's the ingredient. Um. Oh crap! This was kind of cool though. So it comes with a strap for like for you to wear across body. Okay, let me take this off because I don't like the look of this. Um, Amata just left, but she's gonna come back later. Then Malande will just wait to her, but she's also gonna come back. I just got a notification. Oh, take this off also. <coughs> So this is the bag, it's a black bag. I feel like black bags are quite universal and this is not like fancy, it's casual. But it also looks really good, especially for the amount of money I paid. I feel like it's quite reasonable, in my opinion at least. Okay, let me fix this zip. It feels quite sturdy also. Excuse me guys, I'm gonna take this and I don't like that part hanging out. <laughs> This is the bag. This is the inside. It has a pocket. And obviously those sachets that say do not eat. There's another pocket here, I think. Yeah, there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. There's another pocket here. I, I like this bag. I do. Um, let me try and make it crossbody and see if I like it even more. Because here's the thing about me. I don't like crossbody bags, guys. I don't know. Let me not say I don't know why. They... I wouldn't say I'm short, but I'm also not tall. So when I am wearing bags, like they get, they're below my hip and I don't like that. Like this one, this one I actually folded. If you notice, I folded it so that it's not that long. Ooh, I like this. Let me get up. Okay, I think I can adjust this a little more. Let's see. Yeah, it's too short. But I spent the effect. I said cute, guys. What if I can't adjust it? Okay, who does it? What's that, Mama? Makua, kimo kaimo, makua, matitoga, kimo kaimo. I don't think I can adjust this. I actually don't think I can. It's not a crime to wear it like this though. I'll figure out a way to adjust it. I just don't want to ruin it. But I really like the bag. It's obviously not very expensive, but I think it looks good, especially for the price. Then we went to Cavendish Square and I got, please don't judge me. This was on special for like 100 grand. So I bought it and I've always wanted a gown like this. I'll pick that up. Hey. <laughs> Look at what this gown says. <laughs> Bridesmaid. And my mom was busy dragging me to say, Give a opportunity to my yellow because why am I wearing something that says bridesmaid before? I've become a bridesmaid. Okay. Now this one doesn't want to untie. What's that? Why isn't it like a shiku delicious? Yes. What's that? I like it. I think I want to try on my jeans for you. There we go. It's open. It's just like very light. I have one fluffy gown and summer is coming. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it like this, guys. Then back to Denim's essay. Um, I got these jeans. They look very big, but then I kind of wanted them to be a baggy fit. I didn't want them to be tight. Uh, which I will try on for you guys to show you. Then I got this pair also. These are skinny flare leg jeans. Like as you can see, they flare, but they're very long. Like you guys are gonna see when I try them on, they're quite long. So yeah, I like them. The quality is good. It's just not what I expected to see. How about the name? <laughs> So I'm gonna try these on and show you guys what they look like. And yeah, I need to put on a shirt to try these on. 
Okay, guys, this is the black playlist jeans. They're not exactly a tight fit. This is a size 28. But then when they say 28, I think that actually means like size 30 or something. I suspect. So. I like the fit of them, but they're very, very long. Like, I don't know how else to show you how long they are. Cause Okay, this is the jeans. And they're in here. They're quite long, but I like them because I can wear them with heels. So, they're very cute. I just need to get them altered here. And <laughs> the fit is... I like these. This is my favorite pair, actually. Okay, guys, this is the second pair. These are a size... Let me check. I can make sure these... These are a size 28. I actually don't know what size that means. Because the sizing is quite crazy. These are a size 30. I wanted more of the straight leg jean vibe. So I got a bigger size. Because... One thing I want to say about this shop is that... It's basically a big skinny jeans outfit. That's it. Like I got there had so many skinny jeans i was just like i don't want skinny jeans there's a reason why i went to a jean outlet so they had mainly 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 skinny jeans and what i like about both of these jeans is that they have a zip majority of the other jeans didn't have zips they had buttons which i don't really feel comfortable with like i feel like the bustle button could come loose at any point in time and then what happens now what Baba. And who's gonna tell you that China Bell was open? I'm not. So I'm also. Do I try the gown? I'm just gonna show you the gown on. But hair. This is what it looks like. It is a bit big. Like you can tell here. Yeah, even that jean is big. Um, but I don't hate it. Like it's very casual, in my opinion. It's just very casual. Like it's not your fancy jean. And they're quite comfortable. Like I don't feel restricted or anything. So this is my second, well, at least favorite, but the black ones are my favorites. Yeah, guys. Okay, guys, here it is. This is not how I expected it to look, but honestly, I bought it. Oh, crap. This looks so bad. I'm so sorry. I just took this off now. But honestly, I didn't buy it to like, we drag, get going, bubble. But, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but both of those jeans were 250 rand. Which is actually quite reasonable, considering I was going to order jeans from Shein, which are like almost 100 rand each. So, I paid 500 when I could have paid 800 plus customs, you know. So, yeah, this is the gown. I got a medium. I just took the first size I saw. It feels so lovely. It says bridesmaid. Don't mind that. But I really like it. It feels nice. I feel like a rich housewife, you know, who's about to receive a million rand for just being alive. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. But I think I'm just going to chill in this now. I don't want to take it off. It feels so good. Ah! Oh my gosh, guys. 